what's going on what's going on it's another night of live streaming on too cool to con hopefully everybody gets the notification that usually comes in chimes in and has something to add to the conversation you know this particular one that is going up tonight is titled limit their access to you it's always a moment in time where you have to limit your access to whoever is within your world you know if it's too much access you know usually sometimes you know that tends not to work out in your favor so if you can time it right essentially it's about timing you got to be able to time it where you know you're not you know um you know you're not saturating the situation or vice versa you know you don't want to become a bugaboo and you know constantly hounding someone nobody likes a hound no one likes to be sweated to a point of you know where it turns to be irritable and i appreciate those that have chimed in and have came in and have already liked the stream before it even really is actually going So who's falling into the actual live stream? I like to know. Inquiring minds like to know what's going on. Shot, rated shot, family. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out a time when, when it's right for you and right for uh the infamous Lisa Smith to go live at the same time, taking over the channel. You know, I know the people are waiting for you know the combination of y'all two. You know to to hit them i mean i know we done had infamous on by herself and you done did one by yourself with you know a company with williams but you need one you know the the, the dynamic duel needs to be put back together but yeah as far as um yeah no one no one likes um to be looked at as a burden or anything like that so it's just about timing you know everything is timing assess the situation for what it is you know okay well hopefully uh the infamous lisa smith is down too you know we have to uh figure that out hopefully you know she falls into the actual live stream tonight if not hopefully you know she'll see the replay and i'll get some type of response if you know she's game and down to you know do that but matter of fact you know since you're shot and you're essentially the other half of when when y'all do the thing how did you think she handled herself when she was solo dolo how did you think she handled that situation if you got to uh sit through that whole uh live stream that she conducted by herself let me see uh don't mind me i'm just multitasking i gotta do two things at once or three things or four things Okay, you said Rick from the SIP. Oh, what's going on with you, Rick? Ricky? Okay, you said she handled it just well, just like she handles it when we're both on. Okay, all right. <laughs> right, she be going in always. Chilling, okay. So SIP, I would assume you're saying from Mississippi. If I'm making a, the correct assertion, 
You know, that's that's uh, what uh, state you you coming from. If if I'm right in my statement, if I'm incorrect, correct me. Okay, Elaine Smith says she is one of my favorites. Oh, okay. Okay, that's right. Okay, all right, that's good. What part of Mississippi? You know, I got family down in Jackson. So, um, what part of Mississippi are you in? I think she will appreciate that um, shout out or, you know, recognition, Elaine Smith, Crystal Springs. Okay. I never heard of Crystal Springs. How about how far would you say that is from Jackson? Okay, 30 miles, yeah, that ain't that bad. That's not that bad. So I don't, I don't think I've ever seen you fall into any of the chats or, or make a comment. How long have you been on the channel for? Did someone put you up on it? Did you discover it? I mean, I'd be kind of wondering how people, you know, be discovering, you know, too cool to kind. Like I said, okay, uh, filling that topic about two or three years. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I do usually start off with just a little small topic and then it evolves into other things. But, um, yeah, like I said, just don't oversaturate yourself. Don't don't let them become too comfortable with Because then, see, when, when, once you have people around you too long, they, they think they can uh, dictate on some of the things you may do. You know, and that's where you could run into issues, you know, either or, you know, you not liking them thinking they know you or, you know, them thinking they, you know, know your every move. So you got to set some limitations. You got to set some type of, um, you got to strike a balance. That's what essentially what it comes down to. What's going on, bro? Good evening. I agree with the title. Of the show, I recently had an ex reach out to me. She called all, stating she missed me when I called her. She now is too busy to talk. I stopped calling her. Yes, sir. People who know you eventually try to use you. Exactly. It's like it becomes a motive. Like, okay, they move like this. You know, uh, they start getting upset when this comes about. So they figure out an angle where they can work you. But, I mean, if you're a smart individual and you're sharp, you know, any of those 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 type of ploys ain't going to apply. And essentially, it's going to end up it's going to end up damaging the situation because you're already peeping the play of them trying to run game on you or, you know, try to put one over on you. Should I say, you know, I'm trying to go lesser about using game because people think when they think game, they think slickness. Even though it does mean slickness, it's just someone trying to get over on you. Nobody wants to be, you know, uh, uh, the wool pulled over their eyes or anything like that. So you got to peep what's going on around you. You got to peep what type of situation you're creating, having certain individuals around you. Especially if you hear them talking negative about other individuals. That means nine times out of ten, they're probably, you know, they have your, your name in someone else's mouth talking negative about you when you are not around. So you got to peep. The way that people are moving so you know you don't fall prey to you know that type of uh, treatment or mistreatment should I say yeah even family will try to use you I had to learn keep family guessing your next move yeah most definitely family always tries to work you first because they figure well we're family you wouldn't do nothing to family I don't I don't had issues with family and I didn't spare them no expense because they was family. Matter of fact, I don't have family members cross me and I no longer speak to them 
to this day. And this probably been probably 20 years ago that they done did something. So, you know, I take those type of situations real serious. So family, yeah, you cut them off first and give it to them the rawest because they think, you know, you're going to soft shoe and go light on them. No, treat them just like you treat a stranger, you know. You should already know not to try to make no moves on me like that. But like I said, that comes from that's that's the best testimony because, you know, family members, you know, you treat them like if it's cousins, you treat some cousins like brothers and vice versa. So you got to have essentially draw a line in the sand like, OK, yeah, I only could, you know, just so I don't end up, you know, taking it to where I'm hating you or where we're having, you know, bad blood between each other. I got to draw this line. You know, that's that's to keep the relationship up on its toes where, you know, we ain't going to be facing no issues. You know, we ain't going to have other family members coming to us like, hey, hey, y'all need to cut this out because, you know, we're family and all that. You need to squash all this. You shouldn't even have to go down them roads where, you know, it starts getting, you know, um, you know, you, you can't stand to be in a room with each other or anything like that. You know, that's why you, you kind of place borders, imaginary borders around, you know, certain things that you do. Don't let them know too much of your business. You know, if some family members are so dirty, I don't heard some family members get at other, uh, they, they, they brothers, wives and things like that. The, the real dirty ones, especially the ones that's locked away. They're like, oh, well, he's locked away. He won't know that, you know, I'm messing with his wife or his, with his girl. And they get real ugly once they touch back down in the streets. Like, man, I mean, you thought she wasn't going to tell me? You thought we got kids together. What you doing, you know, trying to, uh, 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 you know, make time with, with, with my, essentially with your nephews and, and your nieces, you know, mother. You, you thought they wasn't going to tell me about this type of situation? I mean, come on now. What's going on, Choice? Oh, uh, bro, you said thank you. I haven't spoke to my cousin in 15 years since he pulled the wool over my eyes when I was a young buck. Yes. Matter of fact, I had a family member. He did something in another state, and we were we were uh, raised like brothers. He did something, and the time that he did this, we were cool up to this point. This is what was the lying in the sand or, or really you know where it could have really turn ugly you know um i got a call from a, 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 a lawyer's office or a law firm they like yeah we represented you in the state and i'm like you ain't represent me nowhere so they's like they were like okay just like okay just you know nonchalantly like that don't even sound right so maybe not even about a week later you know i get a call from you know a close family member like you know they was you know the people was just here they had the whole crib surrounded and everything but they said they were looking for you but once they gave the description it actually was my cousin so i guess he pulled some crime in another state and used my name Instead of, you know, owning up to his situation, like, hey, you know, I done, you know, did whatever, you got me for whatever. No, let me point the finger at someone that ain't got nothing to do with what I got going on. So I had to, you know, uh, go all the way, travel all the way to that state where he was located at, where he pulled the caper at, you know, and essentially clear my name. Like, no, nah, I've been over here. I've been located here. You see my face and the person that you booked we're totally different people. So, you know, after that, you know, probably maybe a year or two after he served his time, he touched back down and he's like, Oh, I want to apologize. I'm like, I'm good. I mean, I accept you apologizing, but we can never be cool. Like we was ever. And a lot of family was shocked. Like, how can you move like that? Like, how can he move like that? Matter of fact, that split a rift between, you know, um, you know, his mother and my mother, you know, they were talking and it was like, well, you know, uh, well, my son gets in all kind of stuff. Your son don't never get in nothing. So, you know, it's, it's OK that, you know, he kind of faced that type of situation, essentially saying it's OK to throw me under the bus for some shit that he did. And that was fucked up in itself hearing that. So I'm like, nah, I'm good on you and I'm good on your son, you know. You know, I don't I don't wish no harm or anything like that, but I, I can't move and shake 
like like that with you no more. You know, that's that's some uh, uh, ill intentions right there. What's going on, Joe Frank? You say you feel me? The gents. Good evening, folks. Yeah, and like I always say, let me um let me place the uh, hotline number in case anybody wants to call in. Maybe you got a situation somewhat similar, or maybe you just want to call in for for another particular reason. Let me um pull up the hotline number so we can get this conversation moving in a direction that uh we never know which way it'll go. Let's see. He said, yes, sir, bro. Uh, he said, yes, sir. It took me years to understand not all family are the Brady Bunch. Exactly. You know, they, they paint it out there like that. Well, oh, we're all hunky dirty and everything is good. No, some things are just not mendable, you know. And, and the sooner you, you know, come to that understanding, the better off you will be. Let me see. Um, yeah, that's true. People will be people, but you got to recognize the signs when people's moving shady. You know, don't try to be like, oh, they're doing all this ill stuff to these people around here. It's not going to affect me. Never had that type of mindset. Never had that type of mindset because if it's moving like that around you and affecting people that you actually know, but you think, oh, it ain't going to affect me, you know, you'll be sadly mistaken about that one. You know, I done seen it far too many times. Two people that's essentially robbers, and they up here robbing people's cribs and doing all kind of stuff. They end up turning around and robbing the other person's crib. It's like, okay, I'm a robber, but I'm going to turn the, the my robber intent on you too, you know? It's just crazy how some people think. But, like I said, you got to limit their access to you. You got to. You know, this is about self-preservation. We got to implement it every now and again, you know. Really see how people really rock with you. You know, not everybody is, you know, beneficial to, you know, your self-preservation. Even if it's family, even if it's blood, you know. Like, why put them in a position to, you know, do you wrong? I, I never understood that. It's like after being burnt, that kind of learned me. Like, oh, okay, I got to be more protective. It shouldn't be like this, but, you know, it, it's oftentimes it's like that. Which is a sad situation. About to drop the hotline. Just uh, I'm texting right now. Let me see. The hotline is posted. There it goes. Okay, I'm okay. You say you agree, Ricky? All right. Okay, bro. You said set people, accept people for who they are, but you don't have to, you know, for their bullshit snakes can't stay in the bushes forever most definitely they always reveal themselves you know you hear that rattlesnake uh, uh tail rattling don't think oh that's a baby rattle no that's that 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 person you rocking with that you know that got those those serpent serpent behaviors you know yeah hey if you're liking this particular live stream go ahead and hit the like matter of fact if you can't comment or you're on the job site and you can't you know you don't want your your boss to see you or whatever you know just hit the share just you know hit that part where it says um where is it at on the, the woo where it says share hit share if you got twitter you got facebook any of them other you know uh, uh social media platforms so we can get more people up in here we can have more interaction i mean we have interaction but even more interaction where we can take it into you know different uh areas of conversation you know because i usually just have a basic topic and then we roll into something else but we can keep talking about this if, if you feel this is something that you know is necessary that's needed to be covered 
if you got any stories of your own, like, yeah, I don't had, you know, my brother do me like this. I don't had a, a cousin, you know, do me like this. You know, I don't even had a father, you know, that touched down. I just got reintroduced to it, uh, you know, introduced to him and he worked me like this. I mean, it's so many stories and so many situations that need to be told that can, you know, wake up something within you. Because that's essentially what these conversations do is waking something up in you. If it's something that you can relate to or something that you done been through. That's why I say call in, you know, Rick, you know, this is my first time calling in. I just want to speak on, you know, this particular thing, you know, go ahead, you know, scroll through there. The hotline's there for you. You know, I used to do it like the people that remember when I first started, you know, doing these live streams, I'd be like, post your number. And a lot of people didn't want to do that because it's like, okay, someone's going to see my, my number. I don't want no weirdos calling my line. But now it's a hotline number where nobody's going to see it. You just call in whatever the prompts they give you to give your name. And then, you know, you'll be connected to me. And we could take multiple calls to, you know, have multiple conversations going between all of us, you know. Eight for eight. So hopefully everybody's doing good. Ain't no too many issues. Let me see. Um, bro, truth be told, when people drain your energy, it's time to cut them loose, but move in silence. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. I agree with that statement, bro. I agree with that. I mean, you don't want to get to the point of being drained. It's like when you feel that, that, that kind of feeling coming over you, you know, some people like, well, you should let the person know or what they're doing and all this. People already know what they're doing. That's why I just straight cut people off. If, if I see, you know, they're moving funny or something like that, you know, matter of fact, I'll say this. It was a person I rock with for a while and I cut them off. But when I kind of go back and, you know, I think about how I cut them off abruptly. You know, I think about, you know, conversations. You know how, like, you're talking to someone on the phone, and then you hear someone in the background, and the some person in the background says, you know, fuck that person. But the person on the phone that's supposed to be your partner doesn't correct them. So that means they've been having conversations about you that's been ill if this person can be comfortable with saying something foul like that and not correcting that person. So when I fast forward, that's like my, my subconscious mind caught up to, you know, my mind, you know, at that particular moment saying, you know what, you cut this person off for, for the right reasons. You didn't have to give them no excuse because, you know, how they was moving and you didn't check them on that particular moment. You know, this is the reason why you need to cut them off abruptly and don't give them no Oh, well, well, why? I need a reason why you stopped talking to me. No, you don't need a reason. You should already know the reason because you was moving funny. And since you was moving funny, I had to cut you off because you're funny. But yeah, um, so let, let's go through who, who's all through here. Okay, we got Ricky Arno, we got Choice, we got Bro. We got Joe Frank. We had uh, Elaine. We had Rated Shot. So that means that's about six people. So who are the other people, the other, should I say, three people out there that's lurking? Who's the other three? Make yourself known. You know? I would appreciate that. Because every time I, I I don't know the full cast that's in, up in here, that lets me know it's either some agents or, or you know, someone is just, you know, uh, I don't know if I should say anything. No, speak your mind. Matter of fact, that's why I put the hotline up. If you got something to say, say it. Say it. This is what conversations are about. Get to the bottom of whatever.
So let me see. Um, yeah, as far as um, limiting your access is, is so many ways. And and like I said, you know, the, the fallout of that, you know, is, you know, you have family members siding with other family members like, well, I agree with you. You know, they shouldn't have did this. But then you also have those other ones like, oh, you, you funny for doing that kind of stuff. It's like it's always going to be a division. You ain't going to be able to please every everybody. But long as you're doing it for your your uh, health of self, you can't go wrong with that. You know, they don't got to live in your shoes. You got to live in your shoes. So whatever you whichever way you're moving, that's going to be beneficial to, towards you and yours. That's the 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 way the direction you should go you know that's how i feel about it a lot of people think you know they can cross you and do you wrong you're supposed to still you know be falling falling for the okie doke no that's a wrap try with someone else that's gonna let you ride out and do that but hopefully you know you don't run across the wrong one that uh end up you know doing something to you from from acting like that I see we done had another person enter in. Hey, let let yourself be known. Hey, if you just jumped in here and you like, hey, I don't know what they're really talking about. Well, you see the, what the thumbnail says. It says limit their access to you. You got to do that. You know, don't don't let them think they got a one up on you. Because there's a lot of people that think they got a one up on you. You know, once once they know a little bit of your business, not all of your business, just a little bit. You know. Hopefully you don't let them get in there that close. And, and I've been noticing that too. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of people, you know, meet people and they immediately meet them and, and let them get access. I'm like, you even got some long hell friends that don't know certain things. So why are you letting this person you barely know, you know, know your business like that? That's the easiest way to be set up to, you know, have something ill happen to you, you and yours, you know? Okay, bro, some family members will pit other members against each other. Took me years to understand. Just makes moves. Know your own. You don't need anyone's permission except yourself. Exactly. You know, I, I don't always. Matter of fact, I, after that situation happened, you know, it was, uh, i say, you know, I had a, a real close family member of mine passed and you know the, this cousin of mine was at you know the funeral and everything and you know they rode in my car you know you know okay say when you're at the what is that uh not so much the wake but you know when they're doing the um the service and you go down to the grave site they rode in my car and they just jumped in there and I had some other people in there. I'm like, okay, um, we ain't talked since whenever, but you know, this is at a time that you know, you know that you, you really don't want to trip. So essentially, when we ride down there, and you know, they handle the service down there, and then we go back to you know the, uh, 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 you know the, you know eat, when the family goes to eat and everything. You know, he came up to my car and said, hey, you know what? You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to uh, hear about, you know, what, what done happened and everything. But you know what? You know, I left something in your car. You could have that if if, if, if you want. I'm like, wait a minute. What you leave in my car? And then he told me, I'm like, wait a minute. Now, if you ain't never came up to me, I would have had some shit in my car that if them people got up on me, it would have turned out ugly. So now you really done fucked up worse than before. So I really don't want to fuck with you. So after that, it was closer, you know, closer to one of the holidays. I want to say Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, their brother said, oh, well, come down and, you know, you know, say, you know, what's up? You know, I'm having someone at, at my spot. And I'm like, OK. So I get there and, you know, his brother's there. I'm like, well, you didn't tell me this. I ain't staying. They're like, oh, well, we're supposed to be family. And like, no, you know, I don't fuck with them. So that's how I'm going to keep it steadily not fucking with them you know and, uh, and the family didn't really understand that I'm like man this dude tried to burn me twice and i still didn't do anything because i'm the older person within this situation they're younger than me 
But, you know, it's just how some people move. You know, they expect you to, you know, play stupid and go along with, you know, the craziness that they got going on in their life. No, I'm cool on that. Okay, you said I had an ex-boss keep wondering about my life, where I've been, etc., what food I like, trying to figure me out. I told him my world ain't your business, especially on a job. Keep your business to yourself, most definitely. It's like, you know, I don't have people like that. You know, they they press the line because they, they figure you're easy going and like, oh, he's not going to say nothing. So I could say something sideways. And, you know, they're not going to say nothing. And that type of shit, you've got to check them right there once that, that stupidness comes up. You know, oh, I didn't know you were like, yeah, I'm like that. Don't ever try to, you know, play me like I'm some uh, 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 idiotic fool that's going to go for the, the goofiness that you just done spotted out your mouth. No, I'm going to check that shit right at the door. You know, and I ain't I ain't being extra bold, Billy tough. But I'm, what I'm saying is. You can't step on mine and think I'm just like, oh, okay, that's okay. Fuck that. You know, if I ain't doing that kind of stuff to you, please do not try to do that to me. I'm, I'm, I'm imploring you. But that goes back to we got to draw a line in the sand every now and again. More so in, 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 in these days because a lot of people like to test you to see, you know, where you're really at with it, you know. Nobody want to call in tonight. Everybody just want to like, Rick, we just want to kick back and listen to what you got to say. It's more entertaining when you, or not so much entertaining, it's more so better when you can bounce off different ideas on, on you know, whoever that, you know, comes in on the, the line or whatever, because then it's like, okay, well, what about this? Have you ever had this, this experience, you know, you know, versus me, I'm kind of, digging in or i'm using what you are saying within the chat to try to you know expand upon you know different situations that i may have been through you know i mean i know you're saying what you're saying within the chat and that makes sense but when you're actually talking on a line live with someone and you get to hear yourself on the replay you know oh i'm i was on that replay baby go check this i was on this one right here you know we was you know chopping it up about whatever you know you know, essentially, uh, I was naming that situation that you went through with your people or something like that, you know. That gives people more clarity, you know, once this posts up to be a replay because it's actually live. So with the live interaction, we're going back and forth like actual dialogue within person. 33 minutes in. Who wants to call in? Okay, Choice, you said, so I know I'm going off topic, but what y'all think about that what, 10 year that race soldiers got for a whacking dude in Texas? I know it was going to be something bullshit. Yeah, I want to say, wasn't that, uh, didn't she get like 10 years or something like that? I want to say that Somalian that killed the Australian woman here in my state, I want to say he got seven. So she got, what, three more years than him? You figure they are law enforcement. They treat them a lot different than, you know, a regular citizen like you or me. Yeah, that's, you know, this is the world we live in. It essentially, it's right in our face how they're treating us you know how they look at us matter of fact i want to say they said uh the black officer was straightening her hair and everything and the brother done hugged her and all this kind of stuff i mean what is it what are they trying to you know put before us like okay you're supposed to accept if they done you know did you wrong we we've been doing that way too long i'm not accepting any of that nothing you know, that almost made me think it's staged because most times you figure a person that killed your family member, the security isn't going to be on 10,000. They ain't trying to have that person close to the other person. So why was it so, okay, yeah, he gave her a hug. He's forgiving and everything like that. No, 
it's been going on far too long. Like how they try to paint the picture. Well, she she didn't know where she was at. She she was just texting her boyfriend. Well, she was texting her boyfriend. She know where she was. She she knew to text him. She knew to hit his line. She she knew that wasn't her place. But she felt I'm I hold the position of this. I could essentially assassinate this person, which she did. And now she's gonna essentially let's break it down. Ten years. Five and five. Five and five. That's ten. I mean, come on, and it should be back out, back into society. Matter of fact, I want to say, uh, 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 the uh, uh, the the brother that got killed up in up in Oakland, you know, when the, the the cop said he was going for his taser or whatever, he's already out, and he killed him, and you know, he's out. So I mean, they hold a different standard for when it comes to us versus if it was vice versa, you know. Okay, you said, what do I, wait a minute, um, you said she was off duty, though, he wasn't, right, he was at life, uh, that's crazy, though, Reek, most definitely, yup, five and five, and then, um, you said, Ricky Arnie, you said, what do you th guys think about GM striking, well, you know what, what I think about that GM striking, and I don't heard it on another platform, and I'm a, expand on this it sounds good you know you know they're all like, oh, we're we're striking for you know higher pay because you know rising costs but all they're gonna do is you know what to end all this we're just gonna shut our plants down and go all the way over into china or all the way into mexico and it ain't gonna be no more making vehicles in the united states to end all that you already see regular Companies that have been around for countless decades, closing, closing, Sears, gone, Kmart, gone, or essentially gone. I only think they got barely any places, but I know Sears is totally gone. J.C. Penney's is doing really bad. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What up, Cadillac? Yo, Rick, what's up to it? What's going on with you? Man, I'm just cooling out, checking in through it real quick. Right. Man, I wanted to say, um, um, hey, did you see the brother? Did you see that clip? Which clip? The clip of the brother talking. I think that was that clip when I the brother was, uh, I just seen the the the, the, the snapshot of uh, uh, him hugging hugging the woman and stuff. I'm like, come on now, but I didn't see what what he, he say. Man, you gotta see it. He was talking about uh, he just he forgive her and stuff. You just gotta see it. I don't want to spoil or alert it. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. You would, I don't think you would have said it because I don't think I would have said it. Right. It's it, they kind of it is kind of funny. It's almost like they try to paint an agenda, but you don't understand it when you see it. Okay. But yeah, I wanted to say something about the topic of it too. The, uh, another part when you gotta, when I had to draw a line in the sand, I was trying to see if you feel this too. Is uh, when you around like some of the people that you came up with, and, and every time you around them, you gotta spend money. You find yourself spending more money than them. Certain people. Right. Well. Like I, I was talking, I was with, no, go like, ahead. No, go ahead. Like I was telling you, like I was with some of my bros. You know, what I'm saying this weekend. So they asked me, you know what I'm saying, like, what you doing? Like, how you doing it? And I'm telling them, I'm like, well, well how I do it is I won't drink or smoke for like a month, two months sometimes, like, for self-discipline. I cut everything off and just get money, you know? you know. And I'm trying to tell them that. Some of my younger brothers, I'm trying to tell them that because I'm like, y'all sitting around just doing the same thing. Like, you got to switch up what you're doing in order to switch up life sometimes. Right. So that's that's. And they like, well, why you don't come around a lot? I'm like, because I told them straight up, though. I'm like, because when I'm around my friends, some of my certain friends, when I'm around my friends, I got to spend money. When I'm not around my friends, I'm making money. And I'd rather make money right now, you know. So if y'all just going to sit around and just do the same thing, man, I got to keep it moving. Right. You know, I just told them the truth because, you know, it, it is what it is. But like you said, if it ever gets to a point like that, I just keep, certain, keep my distance, you know. Right. Just, you know, get from around. Right. 
that's one side of it. And then another side of it is, like you said, like with family and people being all in between it. Man, I feel you, 100. Hmm. But it, you ever had a situation like that, though, when you had to back away from people just because of business? Yeah, yeah, I mean... I look at it like this, uh, just like how, um, you know, how uh, uh, bro was, you know, basically saying how his boss was trying to be up in his business, thinking he knew him and things like that. Like I said, I had a close friend that, you know, um, you know, he felt a certain way and he figured, you know, he could talk to me a certain kind of way. Like, oh, uh, um, you know, we need to go do this. And I'm like, yeah, I'll think about it. But essentially, you know, he hit me with a message like, no, we're going to do this. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, partner. You don't tell me what we're going to do. I'll tell you if I'm going to do it or not. You don't talk to me like I'm some, you know, essentially you talking to me like I'm a bitch or something. And that shit ain't flying. So what you do, cut him off completely? No, he got the revelation. Because, you know, I guess people in our circle, he was used to talking to them like that. So he figured, okay, I could talk to you like that. Nobody else reacts because, you know, he's of another race. I'll say this. He's of another race. So, you know, those people of other race or melonless may think, you know, they can get a pass because, you know, they're melonless. No, I'm going to tell you right up front, you know, this, you can't rock with me like that. And he's all like, oh, okay. And, you know, he changed his ways. But like I said, with, with my uh, cousin that, you know, did me wrong, it's been countless times that he done try to, you know, oh, I'm sorry, what, the situation we done did. No, I can't even mess with you like that. You know, I don't want it to be where I have to put my hands on you or do something to you. That That's that's way protecting you and protecting me. You know, that's how I look at it. You know, and, and like I said, a lot of family members didn't understand it. Like, man, y'all grew up like y'all was brothers and everything like that. But he did some things that was so foul where it's like, nah, I, I can't even see myself, you know, respecting, you know, you in that type of light anymore. Cause who does that? You know, if you do a crime, you go down for it. Don't be trying to point the finger at me and I ain't got shit to do with it. You know, that shit ain't right. Hey, let me ask you this. Did you ever, um, cause this, I know this is a problem with me and my, in my situation with my people. I, I be coming straight out. I be, Yeah, but you got to look at it like I, I this. Don't think completely, I don't say completely what I'm thinking, but I just give the gist of it. Like, hey, man, look, this is what you're doing. This is why I can't be around you. I'm going to get back to it. Good seeing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I look at it like this. If anything, that's that's kind of clarity for yourself to try to get off your chest. But if you know their situation, because, see, you know, his, his brother would tell me, like, man, you know, He's, he's messing with this broad and this broad got him tooting uh, uh, cocaine and shit like that. So I already knew his mindset wasn't right. So me conveying that to him ain't going to mean nothing. This is going to be like, uh, you know, because he's, he's, he's not he's not on point thinking. So why am I wasting my energy trying to explain, you know, some some shit that should already be ingrained in you? We ain't like we were raising some 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 uh, uh, strange parts of the world. We were raised like brothers. So you know how, w what's to be expected when, when, when we're moving in the right direction? You know, you shouldn't have to explain that. That's like explaining yourself when you already know what's up, you know? So essentially, I just said it like, hey, we can't rock, you know, I, I don't wish you no harm, but we can't rock like that no more. And if you got anything, like some heat that you're feeling about it, well, bring it out. But he never did, so, you know. We just kept it like that. And then sometimes it probably won't even matter anyway because they'd be like, oh, that's just Jeff. That's sweet, man. He's he, he just tripping, man. We, he'll be all right. We, gonna, we feel cool and shit. And it's like, nah, man, nah, 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 nah. That's, a, that's what I be getting too. Like, some of my cousins, they want to come back and think that, oh, it's cool because I said that. Like, nah, I'm for real. Like, so that's why I feel you now. I just kind of just brush it off and don't even, I just stay out completely out of the way. Right. Yeah, because you got to look at it like, you know, since you go back, since y'all was little and stuff, 
you know, your interactions when you were little versus when you get older and you got responsibilities, you got, you know, people you got to provide for, you may have kids and things like that. Your parents is getting older and you, you're trying to make sure and take care of their well-beings if, if they need something. You ain't got time to be on this little childhood ass shit. Like, no, nah, either you're going to be, you know, acting right in my world or you not. You ain't going to be a part of it because I ain't got, it's too much stuff we got going on to be concerned about this old petty ass bullshit. So that's that's why it's, it's, it's self-protection for yourself so you don't end up hurting them because it's like the people that are your family members, you want to fuck them up even more. I mean, I mean, you fuck people up in the streets, but someone that's playing you close, that's your family and you know how they know how you rock. That's going to take your, your anger to a different kind of level where you end up damaging them. So to prevent that, you're like, no, I just got to cut you off. You know, just like I done caught some gangrene on my foot or something and, and to save my whole foot, I'm chopping off them toes or whatever. You just got to treat it like that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because like you said, that family, that's a different thing. You got different family members. They putting their two cents in it and all kind of it, man. So I feel you, but yeah, I stay out of the way. That's how I be doing it. Right. But yeah, you know me, Rich, I just, I, you know, I stay in and out of it. I just talk to it, tell the people I say what's up to it. I'm going to stay tuned back into it, and I'm going to get back to it. All right. And, oh, let me say this before you go. Hey, put up some more content yeah. on, on your channel. Keep 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 pushing it yeah. like you're doing. I'll keep yeah, tuning in. That's another thing. You get around your friends. You can't concentrate. You're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? You get around your family. You got other agenda. You got stuff to do, but they don't really got nothing to do. See, that's what I'm saying about that drawing the sand on the line, drawing the line on the sand, you know? Right. So, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I'm going to get to it, though. I'm going to do that. All right. I, I'll let you know what I got going on. Okay. I appreciate it. Yep, stay up. Yeah. Now, let me see here. Okay, what up, Williams? Um. Uh, What's going on, people? Family, I just tuned in. I'm just listening. Had a long day, so I'll listen, and I'll fall out. Okay. Five and five out. Okay. Uh, radio. What's going on, radio? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so anybody else? You see Cadillac like Jay Just, you know, he come in the comments. He's a he's a constant regular. He fought, fell in and, you know, voiced his, his uh, position on the particular topic that, you know, we're running with. Anybody else can hit the hotline just the same. I put you in, and when you're ready to chime out, you go out. Just like that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is, sometimes it's, it's more harder to, some people find it more harder to, you know, draw that line in the sand with family because it's like, man, we go back together, you know, you know, uh, you know, granddaddy or grandmama ain't going to really understand me, you know, cutting off with them or something like that so you know you're gonna start feeling the guilties when it comes to things like that but it's like man i don't want to hurt this person i end up hurting this person them them trying to you know play me or think they can play me or think they didn't know me so much where they could you know try to work me a certain way no nah. draw that line in the sand self-preservation you know and like I said, when it comes to friends, or I won't even say friends, when they cross a line like that, they just associate something close to enemies. You really got to cut the line like, no, I'm cutting you totally off, you know. Bye. No explanation. It's not needed. You done did something foul. We can't even rock like that. I don't even have to explain it. Most definitely, William, she says, sometimes you got to cut the dead branches off the tree. Exactly. Mess around and keep them dead branches up and come crashing down on you at an unexpected moment. Tear up your car, tear up a part of your house. Shoot, if you chilling under the tree, you know, maim you or something, or, or one of your little kids or something you got running around. No, you got to make sure and handle things when they need to be handled. When you see it's something uh, uh, moving in a direction that that's not going to be beneficial for you anymore. You got to nip that in the bud right before it even gets to that, that, that devastating moment. Okay. You said 2018 showed me how they can cross you. Yeah. A lot of, um, 
it, I mean, you live long enough, you'll see things. Matter of fact, sometimes, you know, even if, if you haven't been through it, maybe your pops in your uncle or maybe your, your pops in, you know, one of his close friends or something or, or your mom and, and one of her, her close sisters or cousins. You don't see a situation like that play out. And you're like, man, this is really true. I mean, it hasn't it, it hasn't affected you maybe per se. Per, on a personal tip, but you can see it from afar, you know, like granddaddy used to always be chilling with, you know, his brother. Now, you know, he ain't even rocking with him because, you know, something done came about and he tried to work on him, you know, and it ain't about, you know, saying nothing ill on their name. That ain't what I'm saying. It's just cutting them off from having access to you, you know, like, you know, your woman or something like that. You know, your woman's going to know a lot about you more than, you know, Anybody else you probably mess in the world. So, you know, she may understand where you're coming from. Like, hey, baby, I don't want you, you know, you in this mindset. You're already coming home kind of feeling like, you know, this or vice versa. You know, your woman is kind of, you know, up in arms about, you know, how certain family members been moving, you know, and she's coming home feeling kind of some kind of way. Like, you got to put in her ear like, hey, you know what? You need to just, you know, uh, you know, just to split up, you know, draw a line in the sand, like, hey, you know, so you ain't being all extra stressed and things like that. I'm going to have to constantly calm you down because, you know, this person thinks they playing, they could keep playing you because your family or, or your, your your girlfriends, you know, trying to work you like this, you know. You know, the people that you really rock with, the people that you really mess with, you got to put that type of inspiration on. And if they're putting it in you, you got to take time and listen. Like, man, maybe they really... Re talking about he talked about this on a live you know i'm kind of going through this right now i need to kind of implement some of this you know so i can get back on the track of doing me making sure i'm right for you know you know if you got little children you ain't all agitated with them and things like that because little kids peep all that kind of stuff they're like oh daddy he ain't he ain't acting kind of right something kind of got him a little hostile you know you want to nip all that in the bud so it doesn't affect your immediate you know and if it's within your immediate, you want to adjust that as soon as possible. You know, you don't want, you know, you and your girl having some type of issue. And if you are having devastating issues, you really got to have a serious powwow talk to be like, hey, baby, you know, we can't keep moving like this. You know, someone's going to get hurt and it ain't going to be me. And I don't want to be uh, behind the clock over some idiotic stuff. So what are we really going to do? You know, I know what I'm seriously on. Or maybe I'm seriously slipping and you got to pull my coat to something. Maybe it's something I'm doing that, you know, you ain't really feeling. So we really got to have a sit down powwow about what's really going on and see which way we're going to move from here on out. You said family's even worse because they should know you and how you get down and respect that instead of trying you in the first place. But they do exactly because they just think about it like this, you know, it'd be family members and some people may have different thoughts on this. You know, I have my thoughts on this. Like you have a family member come over and they'll just go in your refrigerator and start, you know, grabbing some food out. And, you know, where I was brought up, it's like, hey, you got to ask if you want some. But some family members feel, oh, no, we family. You can just go in there. Now, if you say I can go in there, that's something else. But if you just go in there and take something then that's when it can it can cause a rift you know you know but people have different stances on that that's the same way when it comes to you know different things like i remember uh two of my family members you know uh one was one had worked a night shift late night shift and um the other one his brother you know we were just chilling at the at his as at their crib or whatever and um the one brother came home, he had a plate. You know how, like, if, if you work in a late shift, you got a plate put away that you're going to eat something later, and you may have some, some beers. Well, some other family members came through, you know, earlier in the day, and he had, like, a 24-pack of beer. You know, instead of him telling, you know, the other family members that came through, hey, um, that's what we call his beer. He ain't even open that. He let them go in there, and they drank probably... I say if it was a 24 pack, it was probably two beers left out that 24 pack. And when he came home, his plate was eight. 
it was, it was ate up. It was wrapped up and everything. So he already had a hard day. And he knows that these people just, you know, did this, but he didn't say anything. So he was hot. Is He was on flame. So he's talking, he's talking because, or not talking, but he's mad. So he's saying things that, you know, the brother's like, man, why are you talking like that to me? Like, because you didn't stop these mugs from, you know, drinking all my beer up. It, it's too late to go to the liquor store to, you know, rectify this situation. It's really too late to go out and try to get some other food. You know, so they ended up fighting and I had to intervene in that situation, you know, because they was down there tearing up the whole house because of the negligence of the one instead of being drawn a line like hey that's his his beers don't go in there or that's his plate of food he got saved away for when he comes off this late night shift this third third or second third second hour shift so you know you got to be more paying attention to certain situations i mean something that was so simple got blew way out of proportion but you can understand like you know you've been you're drinking you didn't want to have some beer and your whole 24 case is dwindled down to two i mean yeah someone's gonna be mad and you know nobody replacing it or eat your whole plate of food up i mean i know some people like you shouldn't get that mad it's only food and all that or you shouldn't get that mad but you know i guess if you probably had it's probably more underlying things that were kind of building up to that moment and that was like the straw that broke the camel's back, essentially. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Just, you know, so many kind of situations that we face and that we go through. And sometimes, you know, you overlook them. But be mindful about that because, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I'll just let it go. I'll just let it go. And that should be stacking up. And then you really hurt someone. And it could be something simple. Because you're going back to all these other times that they try to work you over. So then it's like, man, why they, man, they acting crazy. Because it's like they're thinking back to all them times, you know, you gave them a pass. And this time it's like, I'm not giving you a pass. And essentially I'm giving you retribution for all that shit that I let you slide on. Yeah, uh, radio, you say, yeah, respect his stuff. And if you can't replace it don't touch it most definitely like i say you know you just don't do that you know to me it was the perfect storm it was late at night it was like maybe two three in the morning maybe more so towards three in the morning and uh you know two cans of beer out of a 24 pack yeah that, that's bad as hell and all your food ate and you know you done came off a third shift probably working hard as hell and, you know, you come home to that, you kind of want to kick back before you knock out and you ain't got any of that. And the person is is being so nonchalant about it, like, oh, that, that's nothing. You know, that that'll piss you off even more, even if it's family, you know. Right. A whole 24 for a uh, case of beer. Oh, my like, gosh, damn, because. I didn't even know until, you know, they started arguing like, wait a minute. So because it's like I seen the people drinking the beer and I didn't have any of it because, you know, he said, oh, that's what you call this beer. But, you know, I'm sure he'll let you have some. I'm like, no, I don't want any of it. But they're drinking it and drinking it. And then, you know, after they done got their fill, they left, you know, and, then you know, oh, man, I'm hungry. Oh, well, I think it's a plate of food in there. And hey, have to it. And they're eating up the food, ate the plate up. So when he comes home, he's like, yeah, man, you could, see this. you know how you see someone coming home from a hard day at work, they kind of tired, they kind of just want to kick back, and you, I could hear him, he's like, man, what's up? Where my plate at? He was like, man, well, at least I got my 24-pack. He's like, it's only two beers up in here. What's, what the hell's going on? And so then he started running down the ship, man, he started flipping. I'm like, whoo. And essentially, the one that, the brother that didn't do shit, he's like, who you, who you getting loud with? So... Then hearing that on top is like, you're telling me who am I getting loud with? You've been here all day not doing shit. When I've been out at fucking work making money, you know, and things like that, and you trying to come at me flip? No, you wrong. So that's when they got the scrapping and things, you know. Right. 
Rick, if you listen to Nipsey Hussle's dedication and Jay Z's, excuse me, miss, they talk about the red and the blue pill. Uh, matter of fact, low uh radios in here that knows about the the red and blue pill. You know, so if you want to ask radio any questions, he's right up in the in the chat. You know, remember, I, I don't really know about that. You know, radio is the one that kind of, you know, got to speaking on that. So you can ask radio directly about that situation. Radio, you see what Lodon put in the comments. You know, you can respond to that. Let me see. Uh, But yeah, you know, you know, us as melanated brothers, you know, we can we can go from zero to 100 within, you know, a moment's time so you know a lot of people that may not you know have our pigmentation they'll hear that kind of situation on you mean he got to fighting with his brother because he drunk a 24 case and he ate his food i mean what's wrong with that he could have just went back to the store no it's three something in the morning you're tired from working third shift or second shift whatever the three in the morning getting off of work i mean you're not gonna be too excited about going out and getting something else when you had this put to the side and it should be a, a, a already knowing about this type of situation like people come through no you can't drink that you know it ain't mine it ain't mine to offer you know you offering it up like you bought it now i can understand if you bought something and you're offering it up that's totally different but you offering up someone else's stuff that ain't there to you know, and this was back in the time when it wasn't cell phones or anything like that. So, you know, you on a job, you on a job. You ain't got, hey, let me hit this person up and see if it's cool. It wasn't, it wasn't them, them times. This was before that was really popping like that. So, you know, that's what probably made him more hot. He, he could have probably, you know, talked to him then if the technology was there, but it wasn't there. So, you know, that's why the situation jumped off like it did. Like I said, uh, I know it done. Let me try to repost uh, it. If you want to uh, join in on the actual live stream, the hotline is available. I'll repost it within the chat. So, you know, those that want to call in can call in. Yeah, it's a respect issue. And probably was not, yeah, most definitely. Matter of fact, this same cousin. He was like, think about it like this. You know, we all got like outfits and things that we probably haven't even wore yet. You know, the same brother that he let, you know, let let other family members drink up his stuff. He would go in his closet and take out fits that he hasn't even wore yet and wear them. So, yeah, like you said, it was other things that led up to that. So it's like, wait, man, you got my new my new jacket that I haven't even wore on, or you got my new pants and shirt that I haven't even wore. What, what you doing? Well, we brothers. No, you you gotta ask me if you can can wear that. You can't just assume like, okay, he got it in his closet and I'm gonna rock it. If I haven't even rocked it, how how do you look putting on my joints? That don't even sound right. But, you know, some people got that kind of thought process. I, I I never understood it. I never try to make moves like that. And, you know, you know, but to each his own. Some people think that's cool. I, that's where issues be happening. Okay, there goes the hotline number once again. Okay, you said not to get off your focus. I just seen, I just heard that today in their song. Ricky spitting it. I'm just listening, G. Okay. Hey, you know, I'm just speaking from, you know, accounts that, you know, done happen in my life, you know. Okay. No, 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 no problem with that. No problem with that, you know. 
I know that, that we were talking about that red pill, blue pill, was it purple pill, black pill? You know, we were, you know, conversing about that. So, you know, with you adding that, that that's good. Like I said, I always say, you know, it don't we don't have to stay, you know, stuck on a particular thing I'm talking about. That's why I say you can call in and be like, hey, um, Re, I want to talk about this or, or you know, I feel this about what you're already talking about. We can we can go in whatever direction you want to go. You know, and I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate when y'all share because I just noticed like when I do in the live streams, it shows how many times it has been shared because now they don't even show who actually shared it. Now it just says it's been shared. So, you know how they do. They they try to limit it. But, you know, that's why I try to put up the um, the precursor of saying, hey, I'm about to go live at this time or at this time. So, no, I'm giving y'all a heads up so you can be like, okay, even if they don't send the notifications, he said this time, I'll be expecting this time that Reek will go on. And to me, essentially me going on, like I said, I'm I'm the black Johnny Carson. You know, y'all's coming and appear on the platform and speak what you need to speak. You know, the people are listening to you, essentially. I mean, I'm playing a part, but, you know, is it, it goes that much further once we can have an interaction, be it we talking on a chat or be it you calling the hotline to, you know, speak what you want to speak. Let me see. Anybody else want to place a call? I know law wants to be put in, but let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, wait a minute, I think that's it. What's up, bro? What up, Lowe? Uh, Not much. Hold on, bro. Let me uh, get you a ball of dog, man. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, what I was talking about, dog, man, you know, I don't want to share this on other platforms, man, like the other one, you know, I was talking about, you know, I, I gotta cut this down, man, because I be hearing myself, too, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? But, but on the real, dog, you know, when them people was talking about that pill, man, I let one of my girls, you know what I'm saying, hear that shit, man, but I was just sitting back chilling, you know what I'm saying, wasn't doing nothing, man. And, uh, they was like, uh, I heard something. And I was like, man, listen to this. I was like, man, we, we just got finished talking about that. Remember I brought my little brother out? Right, right, right. Yeah. And the nigga Nipsey Hussle was talking about, man, he was like, uh, you know, uh, shit, man. Blue pill, you live in the Matrix. That's what he said. And then you think about this, though. I just thought about something, too. With Jay Z on that uh uh shit one shit uh excuse me man yeah. what's your name right yeah he say he say uh red or blue pill you live and you learn mm. okay ain't that ain't that crazy though yeah That's I the... ain't wanna share it with nobody else dog you know what I'm saying like I. I Cause I know a, a platform man where they, all they do is talk about Nipsey all damn day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, you know, it's a good platform, dog. If y'all, if y'all want to know about it, man, it's called uh, Hood Talk. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all might already know, but I, I only fuck with uh, Two Cool Time. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with all y'all, but you know what I'm saying? But you know, I don't be, I don't, I don't do that other shit though, for real. Yeah. No. Like I like, like I told my people, you know, I'm from this I'm from this section right here. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all I fuck with. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? The other shit I don't I don't fuck with, but you know, I just wanted to share that because I was like, man, they all, all they do is talk about him. But if I share this shit with them, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be like, nigga. Y'all won't even know, dog. Hmm. Be for real, y'all won't know, but y'all look at me a certain way, dog. 
No, I just I just look at it, you know, you hear one thing or I'll say like some type of information, you think, oh, I, you know, you don't think much of it. And then once you hear something else, then that's what sparks the, 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 the thing. Like, wait a minute. I just heard this. And then you hear someone else say something about it. Like, OK, now I'm hearing more about it. So it's drawing your interest like, man, this I maybe I need to take notice to what was being said on these, this particular area. You know what I'm saying? Right, Rick, but she listen to this though. That was on Nipsey last album. And that was on Jay Z's last album, like in two thousand or something, bro. Mm. Yeah, but think about she it. But think about it. They they were about to do a, a partnership together. You th you yeah. think about that. She gonna get that? Mm hmm. She real moan dog. Right. Yeah, man, so, you know what I'm saying? That shit, like, was crazy, though. Because, look, when they was talking about Red and Blue Pill, like, I didn't hear that shit that night. Then the other night, that's when I called my little brother, like, man, you know about this shit? And they, you know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all was talking about that and this and that, whatever, and I'm like, man, nigga, I don't know what the fuck that this shit is. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with that shit, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't do that shit. Nigga, I'm the pills. I took me this shit a little bit when I got shot. That was it. And I cut them motherfuckers off, bro. I ain't getting addicted to none of that shit, because I don't... No, I ain't that type of nigga, man. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Hold on a second, uh, Lo. Uh, okay. Right. Okay, uh, James, you said, yo, salute to the platform and to the chat. What's going on with you, James? I'm glad you done fell in here. Matter of fact, James, I was going to say, uh... Yeah, you was talking about the red and blue pill just like uh, uh radio was talking about it. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Call from big radio. To accept, press one. What up, radio? Hey. What's up, Doc? Hey, I'm I'm on earth. What's going on? Nah. Uh, I was just telling Rick, man, about what I heard about, you know what I'm saying, like how Nipsey Hussle was speaking that on uh, his dedication album, and then uh, Jay-Z, you know, he was speaking that on his album way before uh, Nipsey Hussle died. Yeah, man. I'm on the if, if, if you listen to it, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I wanted to respond to what you were saying about it, because, I, I mean, I, I peeped some of, some, some of the stuff he was saying, too. Like, after he had passed away earlier this year, and everybody started kind of, like, you know, making him go viral, you know, like, uh, in, like, April and May. Yeah. Everybody was still, you know, when the when Nipsey Hussle news was still playing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, went to go look at, I, I went to go look at this one, uh, this one old DVD. Man, this dude was backstage uh, talking to Damon Dash, like, in 2015 at the BET Awards. Like, that dude was basically talking about, he was, he was having conversations with rappers. And like uh the executives, they didn't want somebody they want him to have, bro. I'm just gonna be one I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like they didn't want him they knew he was on to something. I, I can just say that. Now, I don't know if that's yeah, not but he, he was on me, to something where they scared them. Okay. Me, I just I just uh I just happened to just be sitting back, man, listening to some music today, man. And uh that shit popped up though. You know what I'm saying? With the Nipsey Hussle thing, you know, it wasn't nobody platform or nothing, though. Because I could have easily took that shit to another nigga platform and be like, man, y'all always talking about Nipsey Hussle and this and that. Listen to this. But, you know, I was like, no, nah, man, I'm going to keep it. I told my girl, I was like, no, nah, man, I'm going to keep that shit. And I'm going to make sure, you know what I'm saying, I was going to message Rick. But I was like, no, nah, man, when he get back on, I'm going to say this. I'm going to tell him this, man, about the platform. So we already have it, already. But at the same time, man, I thought about something again, man. I thought about that Jay-Z song, man, when he was with all them women and everything, man. And the nigga said, man, the red pill, man, you live in your, red pill, blue pill, you live and you learn. Hmm. Yeah. yeah because, well, because basically, basically what he's saying, what he's saying, see, and red pill and blue pill is just basically overall in the main context of it all. It's just what side would you choose? Like, for example, it's like, uh, it's like a uh, Democrat Republican. You can use that as an example. We can use uh, we can use the not not, 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 not,
Uh, uh, Ray, just try not to uh talk so loud on it. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Cool, bro. You ain't never sorry, my nigga. You apologize. No, no, I was just I probably was too close. But uh, what I was saying to y'all, nah, he was just saying like for the overall. It's all good, just, brother. I was, give, I was just giving you the grand scheme of what he probably meant right. when he say red. When they saying red pill or blue pill, they just saying for the grand scheme of the overall point. What side are you on? Like for example, red pill or blue pill with this cop lady who shot this dude. The red pill people right. gonna be like, fuck that. She just she deserved her life. The blue pill people gonna be like, oh man, she don't she didn't try to do. Um, she, <laughs> that's, that's all that mean. You know what I'm saying? What side are you on? Like, are you on, are you, are you standing with the majority of people would be saying, which is blue, which is the blue pill, or are you saying, like, no, nah, I can see through the smoke and mirror. Right. And you read it. Right. And then you, well, red pill will ruin your life, though, because it, it's closer than clowns to both, because red pill will ruin your life due to the fact, now you know the real truth, so it hurt more. And now people around you still stuck in the matrix. But you not right. So you still gonna feel you still gonna feel sort of isolated, lonely. Um, it's oh, it's I mean, it's, you see what I mean? Like a lot of people think, oh, if it's, it's one bad, one good. Now it's pros and cons to both. Right. True. Yeah, that's what's up. You see what I mean? So basically, what Jay Z. So I think to me, what Jay Z initially was saying was, we some we black men, but we think like the rich executive record label owners. We don't think like rappers. So we, you know what I'm saying? Red pill, the blue pill. Like, you gonna, you gonna let them sell your music or you gonna sell your own music? That's how I took it. From, and that's why I think he was a threat to them. Yeah, man. I was just like, damn, man. I just wanted to share it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody on the platform, man. I ain't wanna share it with nobody else, dog. Right. No, no. That's a, yeah, that's basically what he was saying in the song. Because when you hook up with people like Jay Z, He's gonna be a little more enlightened than the other rappers, and, and they know that. You know what I mean? So, and then, but then, hey, if you think about it too, Jay Z, he went and bought uh Nipsey Hussle album, man. He bought like a uh what, a two thousand copies for a hundred dollars. His his first mixtape was a hundred dollars. He only put out one album. No, no, I gotta ask about that because I kept hearing people kept saying he, he had a mixtape for a hundred dollars. Now, what people in the street like really saying, you know what, I'm gonna buy this. Right. You would think, you would think, if you, you know, you ask for a hundred dollars to somebody in the street, you know, to the street dude, they don't be like, man, the hell with you, man. I go download somebody that sound better than you. I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna pay no hundred dollars to you for no one take, no. Hmm. Yeah, that was that uh, Chris on Slosh and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I heard people actually bought it, though. I mean, I heard some people actually bought it, but I would think, you know. Yeah, I would have bought that shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. That's my point I was trying to make. You took it from me. Now, let me answer some of these comments. Uh, uh, James said he's just chilling. And then uh, Troy said, low, uh, music is a universal language. Reek be breaking down movies all the time. It's hidden shit everywhere. You just got to look, you know, man, perception. And then he said, uh, then uh, Troy said, uh, black pill folks like me say she deserves at least 25 years. Talking about that cop. No, I agree with that. I agree with that too. But I mean, shit, I, I, I rather give them life. You know what I'm saying? Because me, to me, yeah, yeah. home with me. The reason why that's I here on me, I'm from, I'm, I'm from Dallas, bro. But that ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm, I, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I'm from the state of Texas, and I got homeboys who done did stuff like burglaries and got 12 plus. So I'm yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I want that. Say, I want that electric truck pulled back out. Right. I want that electric mm -hmm. truck back out. I want that. I, that's what I want. I want that electric truck. I don't know good shit, shit, but I'm so real. Yeah, on some real shit, bro. Like, fuck it, bro. Like, you gonna do it to a black man? Let me be walking to a brown house and start up like yeah, man. Yeah, that, you, shit, you, wouldn't, right. you wouldn't even have made it to the police station. <laughs> I'm telling you. Shit. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. How did he get bought in? I wouldn't have got bought in. Huh. He would have walked into a, bar, a woman crib and just let off. Come on, bro. Like, stop, bro. You, you, you telling me he going to get less than 25? Who wouldn't believe that? Come on, man. Stop. Hmm. Scary ass niggas, man. man. Niggas, too man. scary, man. That's why Halloween coming up again. Big Gregory said it is, man. They playing a game with us, man. They are. This shit is a game, man. Right. This shit is a game. All 
only shit y'all, this shit is a game. They making this shit up as they go. I'm saying it live from Texas right now. Texas law is bullshit. They made up as they go. Man, look, do you know this lady that went on, do you know this lady that went on cruises and shit on a mother? Say, man, they gonna let me and my partners leave on a weed probation tour. We can't even barely leave the county. You hear me? We can't leave the county just for having some weed. She get to go on a weed on a mother? I see y'all bros just one, man, Earl Spencer. Yeah, Earl Spencer, uh, Father Sean Porter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. just one, man, man down, <laughs> you know. Yeah, he trying to play Patrick out next, that's what he said he wanted with. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, he, you know, you know, you know, uh, Sean Porter was from Cleveland, man. It was a good, it was a good fight, though. But he walked out kind of bruised, though. Not, he, he didn't walk out how I thought he was gonna walk out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he still, he still got that title, though. So it's all love. You know what I'm talking about? We trying, trying to fight Pacquiao, Nick. I, I don't want him going to go mess with Pacquiao, but. They said Pacquiao got old. He ain't the same no more. So I don't know. Mm. You want me to cut you off, though, bro? You know? But you said you was from Texas. That's why I said what I said. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you good. No, no, you good. I, yeah, I know about him, too. But, uh, no, nah, man, I'm just saying that to say, man, like I say, man, I got partners who in TDC and shit, man, just because just because bro, like, at one time, like, one for example, I got a little young partner. He had, uh, he had, he was, like, uh, stealing cars and shit. That was his little gig. And uh, he had got caught. But when he was get when he was getting arrested, uh, when the law pulled him over, he asked him to get out the car and put his hand behind his back. He body climbed the law. So that one. Man, mm. you know that little nigga they gave this and they said it's this little dude, fifteen years. Mm. Damn. Yeah, for that. And nobody died. <laughs> nobody, ain't nobody dead. Ain't nobody dead, bro. Ain't nobody dead. Ain't no dead body to this man, man. He got fifteen, he looking at fifteen to seventeen. Mm. I was gonna say, uh, who's all still in the in the chat? James, you still here? Uh, Choice, I want to say you probably still here. Uh, let me see. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Ricky Arnold, you still here? Williams, you still here? Who's all still up in the uh, actual chat? I don't know. It, it's like they need to have a a thing where it lights up if people are still in here or not. So then it's like you're not talking to nobody that ain't here anymore or anything like that. I think that's what they need to uh, do to, you know, on one of their next updates whenever they get around to it. Now, radio, I can't remember because, you know, we didn't cover, or y'all didn't cover, not me, about the red pill, blue pill. Was you? Did you talk to James that was in here? No, that was Channel Choice that was wrong with me. Yeah, because uh, I know James was kind of versed like how you're versed in it. So that's why, you know, if he could come in, you know. Oh, okay, I, then, James. Go on and call in. James, why you still in here? He said he was still Right. Yeah, if you could jump in here, James, you know, because you know about the, the red pill, blue pill, purple pill, just like uh, radio. So, you know. Since y'all kind of are both versed in it, that that that'd be even more better to you know get people up to date about you know that particular thing. Say it's like it could be equivalent to say that for men 
instead of instead of men doing Boy Scout or uh, you know like a little fraternity or you know Alpha Kappa or something like that, it's, it's just something like that. That's how I look at it. It's not that like you gotta be like some people make it too serious. They be like, oh, it's a cult or it's really just like a brotherhood for dudes who basically just agree with each other. Basically, it's barbershop talk. I'm going to be 100 with you. It really ain't no, really no name for it. It's really just barbershop talk. Mm. You get you a kid talking about this in a barbershop, but they ain't going to say none of this at, you know, at the family picnic or at the Thanksgiving table. It's just barbershop talk. Okay. Yeah, barbershop talk be real. Because essentially it's going against their agenda of trying to hang in them. Speak his, what he needs to speak. Because I was about to say something too, though. I was about to say something. I was about to say something. I was about to say something too, though. That pretty money is a rug again, though. Nigga, you already like a pedophile, nigga. How you gonna ask for two women to come visit you? The judge, like, nigga, you crazy. Go ahead, radio. Yeah. Cause you already uh, considered yeah, like I, I didn't know that. You see what I'm saying? I didn't know that. I mean, I, I I knew what he. I mean, I remember. Something I was thinking about, about too, though. Then with the but it's a me, you know what this sound like to me? And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This sound like some uh some OJ Simpson revenge type of time. Like I couldn't get you more back then. Right, so now right. Now you did something new. I just come. I I stick you with that. I was telling my homeboy this to, uh, yesterday. Matter of fact, I was telling him like. It's funny how the system be doing certain stuff. Like, it's like a dude to beat a murder in 1969, but did some thefts in 2009, and then give him like 30 euros for that theft. It's like, because he, it's like, because like they was mad at me. It's like, you weren't supposed to get away the first time. So it's like, we're going to give you revenge time. Like, right. Think, That's what it is. It's like, they giving out revenge time. Like, oh, we owe you that time. Remember what they you? You know, you used to. Man, they hate us. But they stuck him with like he, he killed somebody though. Right. They hate us, man. I swear they hate us, man. And, they, and you know what I'm saying? They don't like us, man. They don't want us to evolve. They don't even want we to have his platform. Right. 
All right. They don't want no black man to have nothing, man. Man, that, man, the hate so serious, man. Man, I'm glad you said this, though, bro, because my homeboy said this just like a, a two months ago. He was like, man, but he said if you just take a look around, bro, they make it hard as fuck for the black man out of all other men. They make it hard as shit for the black man. They do not want him to win the shit. I just, I, man, man, me, I got a lot of shit built in me, man. Just from growing up and just seeing shit and being a young nigga, man, and learning shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, man, everybody ain't, ain't even taught me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things, but listening to this, too, it taught me a little more. But at the same time, man, I'll be looking at things, man. Like, man, fuck y'all niggas be young, man. Like, come on, man. And that shit charged me up, though, man. And then I'll be having to check niggas' temperature a little bit, like, what, what, what niggas really be on, though, like, man, like, for real, man, these niggas, these niggas, man, I heard, man, they don't give a fuck about us, though, for real, man. No, you know, man, man, I can't even say no more, bro, because, but, but you know what, they, what hurt me the most about all this, though, is we be creators and trendsetters that everybody copy off of, though, but yet, Right. But they, but, but no, what they do, they turn around and point the fucking finger at us, y'all. Oh, y'all, y'all niggas wrong. But they don't show us no love, y'all. Oh, yeah. You go with any, you. We're keeping, we're literally keeping, like, three mainstream corporations alive. Like, we That's why I, I, I try to maintain it cool, man. We keeping hip-hop, football, and basketball alive just by itself, and them like the top three trans setting, that got everybody attention. White white women, white men, men For sure. looking what, like that, that got everybody attention, bro. Like everybody is fighting that, just copying this, this formula and blueprint. But I was just reading the little thing where it was just saying like, everybody want to copy and be black until it's time to be black. Right. Say so you got white, you got white women want to be black, and I don't care if you got a white woman. It's cool. That's all right. Until people think. Uh, until it's people time to think. Black, until it's time to yeah. Face, face that gun, the same gun. Just I, I mean, you can look at that. I mean, just saying with you, just the same with uh, you can look at the rights and look at the rights. Even when women say they want equal rights, do women really want equal uh, rights? I ain't prejudiced at all. Do this woman? Do this woman really want to face the life? Without parole, because I'm pretty sure my home will walk in a, a woman crib and do this. You can't lock it out for all. It's that right. equal rights. That's equal rights. Everybody got the equal side rights. So if you do it, you get 25. He do it, he get 25. That's equal rights. Right. But we know it don't operate like that. We don't want to talk about that, though. You know, but I don't want to go too deep into uh, yeah, so that. Yeah, I know. I know, bro. Me either, though. <laughs> that's why I love that shit alone, though, man. You know, but nigga ain't you, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Do we really want to play for Do we really want to play for Or do we want to play for us? We want to play for us, man. You already know, man. Now let me see who's who's all still in the chat because it done slowed down. Ain't nobody saying nothing in the chat. What's going on? I I gotta know who's still out there. You know, I want to make sure you know what we saying and what's what's being conveyed is is being received. So who's all out there? Let yourself be known and you know scroll through the chat and hit that hotline. Yeah, I see you say one. James, call in. Go ahead and call in. What it do, do? Because I know you, you you were speaking on the uh, uh, the red and blue pill, and I know radio was too. So you know, y'all could uh, dialogue on this particular uh, like, like subject. Like Smith say, shoot the ball wild. <laughs> <laughs> right. I appreciate that thumbs up so far. Hopefully they ain't kicking you off the uh 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 the chat. I I, I know it, some people say it'll refresh 
or not refresh it'll do the crop circles and they get kicked off the uh, stream then they gotta go out and come back in Hopefully they ain't, uh, the the hotline number ain't playing where it's not being able to let you call in or whatever. Because I want to say that was happening the other night ago where people was trying to call in and wasn't letting them get in. So hopefully it ain't that type of situation. Yeah, it's shame I like it though, man. They, 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 man. They YouTube and all that shit, man. That shit crazy, bro. Hold on a second. I think he's here right here. What up, James? Yo, what up, yo? What up with it? Now, now, since y'all, since since you know about the, the the red and blue, um, let me see. That that that's we'll go. We'll, you, here. you still there, uh, uh, radio? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, uh, well, okay. I want to say you were talking about the black pill. What, what, okay, what's, what's the, read, break down the differences, because I know you said red pill rage, and you said purple pill, and then you said black pill, and then you're saying there was no white pill, because I was clowning around about the white pill, and you were saying the blue pill, and then the red pill. Black pill, black pill is like a Yeah, you gotta speak no, up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you clear, but I can hear you. But I want to know what's the strongest pill then? The strongest pill is the black pill, man. Would you agree with that, uh, radio? Wait, wait, low. Hold, hold. Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle said the blue pill. Wait, 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 wait. Low, hold on a second. Now, uh, uh, that. Uh, no, I thought you were talking about something else and another concept. You, you was using another concept. Using Jay, he said the red and blue pill. Wait, 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 wait. I'm wait, listening. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, low. Hold on. I got. Let me uh put you off for a second. Okay, now. He said I'm he's. Okay, now, you said about the um, the black pill. I said a radio. Do you agree with him saying the black pill is the strongest? I didn't. I, that's what I was saying. I couldn't really hear him that clearly. Exactly what he said. All was the black pill. I never really heard much about the black pill. I was just knowing. I and like I said, the red and blue pill could be used in different contexts. So and with the way he was saying, uh, the way he was asking about JV and Nipsey, that could have been used in a in the context of the rap game, Red and Blue Bill. Right, but so I, that's why I was saying that could be used. But I don't know. But I was trying to ask him. I was trying to him, let him educate me on the black pill. Yeah, I don't know nothing about the JV and the Nipsey Hussle situation. I'm about to say, so I just know it from the standpoint of me being on like YouTube and looking at the other people's platforms, and they drinking this shit down. Doing that same thing you just said. They're not following none of those rules that they've been taught. 
that's already written down, that's already in books, in movies, in music. They're not following that. They going on, but they're making their own rules basically as they go. So they plan, they rigging their own game and their own destiny. Which I, I mean, I can't, I can't really disagree with that because they making their own rules as they go. And like I say, each individual got a different situation and might have a different path or philosophy. But they all, we all looking for the peace at the end. I mean, basically, that's how I look at it. We all trying to find that ultimate. You know, that ultimate fulfillment, whatever fulfills you, you know what I'm saying? We, it all could be different for each different individual. So that's why I say I can't tell nobody what it is because if you're just telling people, then it's like you basically saying you already know what makes them happy, what makes them feel better, what makes them. And I don't know that it's going to make sense. So it's hard, to, yeah, it's hard to just force it on other people because it's, other people will be like, what the hell are you talking about? But. It's really just like you just said. You just not following the traditional way of yeah. what they, what people have, what they have told you in the past that could have. Right. They really, you, you might not have noticed. It hurt a lot of people that they told that, even including some of our own friends and family. But you know, some of us just choose that's, to you know skip over. That's the thing. That's the thing, though. Everybody got to hit their own rock bottom, so and everybody's rock bottom is going to be different from each individual. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. So that's why it's really kind of hard to explain it to the next person, because if they haven't, if they haven't, you know, basically did like you just said, hit that rock bottom, something to make them say, you know what, I just don't like the way the wind blows today. You know, it, it just changed the way they move, you know, meaning, you know, basically off the stuff you see in society and stuff like that. Like, like, for example, and I don't like bringing this up to, you know, try to make no point, but this dude actually said this, he confessed this. Um, I don't know if y'all remember the story, but I think in like 2018 of May, when it was a little white kid, he had shot up at high school and he killed like 10 people. Well, uh, with the school shooter had uh, basically had put on like this, gonna put on the news and put it up on, that he had like posting stuff on Facebook, basically saying stuff like, uh, like you know, uh, he was tired of, uh, he was basically just like tired of society. You know, he, he was following what society said, and it wasn't working for him. Basically, for example, like he said, he'll take the girls out, and uh, he said what he'll notice. He said he said he he got tired of being a lame white dude. It was a little white kid. He said he got tired of being a lame white dude who will uh, end up getting a fine girlfriend on Wednesday and Thursday, and then when the little jock, the little sports jock, you know, gets free, he can't find a date. So. uh you know, he basically was mad at the dude for this. You know, he basically was mad at the school for this. You know, he felt like, you know, they were treating him bad or whatever. And it was just stuff like that. So it's just, like, some people don't react the same. That's why I don't, you know, try to tell people how to, yeah, that's why I don't try to tell people how to act. Or you shouldn't do, because like I said, that dude just didn't like the way society was going. Because basically, he, the reason why he did it, he, he said basically he confessed why he did it. He said he confessed why he did it because... He was taught, you know, be nice to women, you know, do stuff like that. But he said while he was doing it, he kept getting fucked over. So he was like, what the fuck? Like, y'all told me, you know, time we, you know, like your parents say, you know, you're supposed to go to school, you know, finish college. You know. But it's, I know I got friends right now that finish college, and he pissed off like a mug, you know, because he's like, man, I didn't get to, you know, I went to school, but, you know, he played basketball. And it was like after that, you know, he didn't really – he didn't end up getting a job into the field where he went to college. So, you know, he kind of angry about that. Like, my mom, you know, told me I was going to, you know, I, I, now I'm seeing now that after this, I can make more if I would have never even went over there. Like, so, you know, some people just be angry, bro, like, about, you know, like I say, the tr because you've been told, you know, you're supposed to believe this way. You've been told, you've been molded to believe this one way. But, you know. Like I say, you know, it, 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 like I say, it's to each his own. Some people at work for them. Some people at work for them. I can't say it don't work for everybody, because some people follow it that way. It might work for them. But like I say, you end up getting that school shooter because he tried what you said, dude, and now it didn't work for him. So he's like, what the fuck? The, what, 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 what do I do now? Yeah. And so now they either, you know, he either commit suicide or he do some shit like that. Now, what you got to add to the situation, James? That right there is just like being angry, though. Know? That's feeling what, like, the red pill, you angry, you frustrated, you ain't getting respect, like, you got all that. Yeah, that's kind of like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of like red pill raging. Yeah, you know the truth. Yeah. You, you figured out that society has went to shit. You you kind of figured out right. the truth. 
the society went to shit, the shit is getting bad, and you just you just fed up with it, and you see it's not getting better, it's getting worse. And a lot of dudes, that's why a lot of dudes end up going. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that's why I really be thinking those masks, those masks. You know, I don't want to keep saying that word, but those masks, those masks, the pants keep doing that. That's why I think that's the reason why that stuff keeps happening because those dudes be really fed up with the way they they figuring out the truth. And they, they can't handle it. Everybody can't handle it. Either. That's 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 really what it's saying. You know, people spaz out like right. that. that. Everybody can't take that right. shit, man. They can't. When people break down when they know that when they figure that shit out, man. You know, like people going to think or people uh people don't have life insurance and shit, you know, they changing the health policy. You know, little simple little stuff, you know, little hidden stuff nah, that we can really be Nah, that ain't simple, man. That's like that's big. That's big, yo. No, nah, that's it's big. No, nah, it's big. But you know, and I you know, man, I'm thinking but but, but think about it though. Public education don't teach you about it though. The public education don't don't give it too much to shit to say. You know, you need to have this. They don't make it your priority. They just be like, shit, you either get it or you don't. You know, well, huh? like, but they don't really try to like make it your priority though. Like it's not forced into you know like the other stuff. You know like a lot of poison is forced into us. It's not forced into us like. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's, it's not like, forced into like it. Yeah. How, they, how they telling us like not to be toxic. Yeah. You gotta be toxic. A man got rocks. You gotta uh, cut down a fucking. I don't call it toxic. Uh, I just call it. Well, 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 I mean, who who who's defining toxic? Like, what what does the toxic mean in um, their definition? Because I'm trying to figure out what toxic is about the man. Like, what, what's making. Right, 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 right. Radio, radio. Let let James get some of his points in. Just speak on it. Speak on it. I, I haven't seen it, but yeah, speak on like, it. Um, yeah, I know. It's trying to say boys. It's trying to say boys don't fight. You know what I'm saying? And you're not supposed to cat call the women and all of that shit. That shit is like a um, it's dealing with like harassment. You don't want men to be men no more. Men used to go out here and hunt, cut down trees, conquer the world. Now they saying that that shit is toxic. That they want to dehumanize you, make you make you gentle, make you like, you know, put out chairs and buy women candy and spend all your money and pay bills and you don't get nothing in return. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're going over. Bingo. You know what I'm saying? Bingo. Bingo. That's what I was trying to basically say the other day, Reese, but I didn't want to go too deep into it too long because I didn't want to go. Nah, man, I'm going to go deep, oh. man, because I don't got no YouTube channel. I don't care. Yeah, no, nah, I was just, no, nah, I was saying I didn't want to over-talk Reek on his, on the last oh, time no on his channel. I was on, I wanted, I wanted to hear channel and Reek, uh, right, right. what they had oh, to say yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, but, but I can't, but I'll keep, I'll respond to him, Reek, if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I was just basically agreeing with him, basically saying that's what I was trying to say. Like, that dude got sick of that shit, man. Like, I took the girl out on a date. I, I bought her this, you know, I did this, you know, I was extra nice. I didn't make, I was just a perfect. And I still got, you know, did dirty. You know, I still got this or whatever. So, you know, those dudes, you know, you do just like, man, you know what, fuck this, man. Like, you know, some dudes say, man, you know what, I'm gone, man, I quit. Like, this game real. And then some dudes say, oh, nah, man, you know, yeah, they listen to, you know, like a lot of dudes, like my boy was saying, a lot of dudes get pressured by society because society will tell them, like, nah, man, you just met the wrong one or, you know, you just found the wrong but like you said, you know, and like you were saying, I want to respond to you about toxic. They basically saying men should just leave them alone. But 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 at the same time, they still want you to you know they want you to keep chivalry alive. Like you're supposed to hold the door for them, but they just look at you like fuck you. Like you uh you're supposed to like you know basically you know stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, James? Like on on that level, like. Like, you know, I'm going to hold the door for you, but they don't even say thank you. I, I held the door for one lady. I could have just left the door closed in my face. I held the door for one lady. She just looked and she just walked past me. Like, you were supposed to hold it for me. Like, no, lady, I was. I don't even fucking know you. Like, I'll let this bitch slam in your face. Like, I don't know you. But she she was just, you know, I think that's what society has trained. I think society just by nature and TV, she already programmed to feel like I was supposed to do that. I was supposed to do that and get nothing in return. Now go ahead, James. Yeah, 
Not saying it all. It really that's is, a biological, that's a biological makeup of us, of something in us that that we care. Like, like that we gonna ask you, why you upset? Why you mad? You know what I'm saying? And then we gotta get out of that mind state because like today, no, not a fact, this shit was like two days ago. The lady was sitting on her porch on her phone and the fucking ball rolled in the middle of the street. said in the comments real spill he, he's vibing off what y'all talking about think the medical companies are actually but you know backing that kind of stuff so it's like okay if we if we put our money into this we're gonna get them on the back end when they when they get sick and have to come to us for for you know aid and assistance so yeah we'll we'll, we'll uh put our money into these fast food chains and things like that all these unhealthy type of foods and stuff like that because we're gonna get our money back Don't you know that all these corporations doctors Market. These people sit down with each other and then they be like tally up the um the tally up the statistics that like when black people gonna die. Because you notice that your job they got mm. to like sixty five now or seventy five. Like they ain't gonna make it. They ain't gonna survive. Yeah, you know what that's saying? what our life expectancy is, right? That's so that's what they say in our life expectancy is, right? Sixty five mm-hmm. to seventy. That's the whole fact. Then they got this other one where it's called, um, damn, I just looked this shit up on Google, man. I forgot the name. Um, but the funeral parlor got this policy with the, um, with the job, and it's called, um, what the fuck this shit called? Peasant something. Peasant, um, there's like a peasant policy where your job company don't have to tell you that they got, um, what's this shit called? 
something about your uh, about your life insurance plan and your policy plan for your company, and they don't gotta tell you like when you die, that they get money off of you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because essentially, it's like they're writing off a of business expense because you won't be working there no more because you're dead. So they get paid off for that. Right. right. And if you're a non-smoker, you get $100,000. But if you're a smoker, you only get $30,000. Oh. Yeah, I remember hearing that, bro. I remember hearing that. Yeah, man, I just remember that back when Barack Obama was the president. Right. Because, you know, Barack Obama admitted that dream act. I think he implemented that in 2015 or 2016. So don't quote me on that, though. Oh, okay. He did it in his, what, second time? Second time, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was hearing. I remember hearing this back in like 2012 about that. Something like about they were changing the way the policy worked. And like, if you were a smoker, it's gonna be like 20 to 30 thousand. If you were a non-smoker, then it's like 100. Like you said, 100 to 150 thousand. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like people get it. just changed. Yeah. Sure, indeed. But now they got another policy called short-term policy. That's a policy like. You make it past ten years, you'll pay a premium of like probably like thirty dollars, forty dollars a month, right? And if you survive past some ten years, they'll give you your money back. So it'll be probably like thirty four thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? They'll write you a check to your um to your banking company. Man, I'll be scared the people to be out of me, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, see, I'm trying to just figure all of this shit out. Like, yo, I think they'll knock you off or they'll do something because they ain't trying to give up. Yeah. Because they want you to die. You know what I'm saying? They want you to die. That's what I'm saying. Die. Like, wow, yeah. When you said that, I'm kind of like, so that's going to be seeming like to me. They just kind of like waiting in the dark for you to kind of like croak on them. That's what it kind of like when you said it. I just didn't want to cut you off, but. When I first heard you trying to say that, I was like, man, that sounds kind of eerie. Yeah, man, because as I got older, ain't nobody going to be teaching me this shit, man. I go to YouTube or I'll look something up if I don't know something. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? I got Just parents, research yourself. I got parents that still believe in going to church and believe in the white God and all of this crap and this, that, and the third, man. So that's why I like different sections on YouTube, man, because information is valuable, man, because you know the devil... They read all of this stuff, man. They they study us. So why the yeah. fuck you don't study them? Right. Why you don't study them? You got to. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you don't study them? Why you don't know their mind frame? Why you don't know that they don't deal with um, They don't deal with morality. Morality is based on behavior, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when it comes to money, there's no morality with getting this world money, this, this white power money. We want to be the yeah, right. out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, there's no, there's no rules. I noticed that, too, bro. I'm glad you brought that up. There's no rules when they play, but it's always like we got to have, like, these kind of, these, these, these really rules where it's, like, very limited to everything you do. But there's no limit to what, it's unlimited to the, how they're doing it. Like, it's no, everything put up to the side, religion, politics, all that put up. Indeed. Did you notice that our parents teach us like money is evil, money is bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, but a lot of money, you're not supposed to kill, you're not supposed to steal, you're not supposed to do none of these things. But like, behind closed doors, they robbing, they killing, they killing every day. Every right. Day in the start, you know what I'm saying? Damn right. Yeah, but, but I, and I hate to say, I hate to say this, but you know what that sounds like to me now that I'm, you know, old enough to do like you just said, do my own research and go look it up and go get, go find out the valuable hidden key information. Man, that sounds like something that the slave master would tell them because so they so that'll keep them oppressed. Because think about it, if I keep these people in the dark, they'll never be able to leave me due to the fact that I just told them money is bad. Money bad. What you trying to get that for? You don't need that. So you'll never be able to really 
I think that's something that you, you know, that's what, that's what is someone impressed for from an impression. That's what I should say. I ain't going to just say it like, like that, but I just say words from an oppressor, somebody who's trying to oppress whatever group of people they had. Indeed. Like, check this out, right? Don't you know that when you use the word motherfucker, right? That's having, back in the slavery days, that was two slaves having sex, same sex, fucking each other. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, Oh, uh, that's sticking with his own mother. Sticking with his own mother. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Incest, incest. Yeah, that's that's the incest word. Incest, insult word. Breaking him down, breaking his neck, breaking his down. Yeah, that's what Hey y'all, hold on for a second. Let me let me uh I gotta uh something ain't right. Let me check something real quick. Uh where is that at? Choice. Choice. What's going on, bro? Hey, what happened? What you mean, what happened? Cause I I looked I looked on the uh, thing and uh, I seen you it got blocked out the comment. What 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 happened? Oh no, I don't think I got blocked out the comment. Yeah, it said uh you got blocked by by a uh, low. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I don't know what happened. Lowe probably did that shit by mistake or something, man. He was doing oh. low, man. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like... I ain't say shit, too. Really, shit. Yeah. Drop my little piece about uh, what he was saying. Shit, yeah, I was doing Yeah, because, you know, I, I don't... You know, I give people moderating, the, you know, when someone coming in and hating, but I know you don't be on that. So I'm like, well, why is this... All his comments disappeared. That's because all your comments done disappeared. I'm like, wait a minute. Shit, I don't even know, man. Shit, I got a gig, came to the crib. Shit, that's why I had uh, John Dog. My motherfucking phone was on low. Okay. Yeah, but shit, it's all good. Otherwise, I don't even know. Shit, he probably did it by mistake, man. You know, you be, you can hit a button and shit, that shit pop up. And if you ain't paying attention, that shit is just, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Well, I, I, re- hit it again. I restored it, so it should it should be good, hopefully. It said for 300 seconds, so it ain't permanent, but, you know, I, I you know, I don't want you thinking I'm, I'm like, yeah, knocking water or nothing like that. That that ain't what I'm on. Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. I mean, you know, we all good, man. Right, yeah. right. Well, 
I'm gonna play it by mine anyway. Shit. Right. <laughs> but I, I'll let you go back out. I just had to uh, call and, you know, see what was up with that. Oh, okay, fam. No, we all good at the gravy, fam. Okay. Well, check, check in with you tomorrow, man. Uh, all right. Huh. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, 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 man. What's up? Oh, dang it. I, I think someone else got knocked out. Dang. Well, I look at it like this. You know, we've been on for 125 minutes. I'm glad that y'all came in and called in and offered your, um, you know, your opinions on uh, different things that, you know, you're able to speak from, from, from different aspects. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate when y'all share it. I appreciate when y'all like it. I look at it like this. We we done covered a few things within this um particular live stream. Join me again. Join us again. You know, whoever chooses to come in on the one tomorrow, Thursday night. And we up out of here. Peace.